Ever since the farming contest update, elephant prices have gone up a little bit due to everyone rushing to get higher farm end levels. <gasps> I went to go sell my elephant boot the other day because I never use it, but what I found was one guy selling 14 different legendary elephant pets. It's been long documented that auction flippers have been long associated with things like parental abandonment, mental illness, and high chances of turning into a scalper later in life. But this was way too much. People making money? Unacceptable. So here I am exposing his method because it's slightly funny to me. So after hours of intense labor, here's what I found about why this deranged man was selling 14 different elephants at once. Elephants come from the traveling zoo, a global skylock event that occurs every three to four days. During the event, a slave owner named Oringo sells innocent animals to anyone who wants to buy them. Unfortunately for us, Oringo is a lucrative businessman in disguise and charges way too much for pets that aren't even that good. All of the pets that he sells follow basically the same exponential price gap, with the gap between a common and epic being nothing when comparing it from an epic to a legendary. On first glance, this seems like a fairly obvious flip. Ooga booga caveman brain, go to Oringo, buy elephant for 15 mil, sell for 16 mil, get profit. The only problem is that Oringo, being the lucrative businessman that he is, only sells three pets for event. Thanks to this very handy chart provided by the Skyblock Wiki, and using our big strong brains, we can conclude that Oringo has only ever sold legendary elephants 17 times. So why would this deranged psychopath- So why would this perfectly normal auction flipper be selling 14 different elephants at once, all level 42 with 3 candies each? Scrolling down a bit further, we come upon Cat's section of the page. Reading it, we find the segment, For each level the pet has, there is a 0.3% discount. Cat's the person that upgrades pet rarities for the amount of money and materials. If we use our big strong brains again, we can deduce that this level 42 legendary elephant was most likely a level 46 epic or 51 rare. Using advanced quantum mathematics and this chart from the Sky Black Wiki, we can start exposing this psychotic scalper's methods. Step 1. Buy a level 1 rare elephant from the auction house. Cost about 400k. Step 2. Buy 3 great carrot candies. Since these aren't available on H, most days I had to buy these off of Bazaar. Cost was about 300k. Step 3 was to buy 15 cat flowers. They are sold for bits in the community center, so technically it would be free if you bought them that way, but if you bought them off of auction house, it would cost about 2 mil. Step 4 was to give the candies to the elephant, then give the elephant to cat, then use the flowers we bought on cat to skip her total 15 day wait. If we add the total cost of everything, from the pet to the flowers to the upgrade cost, we get a ballpark number of about 15.5 mil. And since legendary elephants go for about 16.5 to 17 mil, you'd be making about 1 mil every time you flipped, which is honestly really good. So as you can see, after minutes of agonizing work and math, we can work backwards and figure out that this guy's method is actually pretty good, and he does have a reason to have 14 elephants on the auction at once, even if he might be a little bit mentally deranged. Anyways, thanks for watching me expose this innocent guy's auction flip. If you want to go break it, be my guest. Or maybe don't, because that'd be kind of rude. If you like this video and you want to see more, you should totally hit that subscribe button. It helps me speedrun red name faster since a lot of people tell me I deserve that for some reason.